Hello everyone, welcome to the Mule channel and I will be doing a review of Undiscovered Country 1 and number 2 from Image Comics. Um, this is uh, this book surprised me. I really like it. It's very unique and um, there's an all-star team on it and like I this one this number one is a uh, third printing cover but I like how it kind of like has the like wraparound cover like I think that's awesome <laughs> so it's about um, so I'll, I'll be doing one and two review um, it's about like uh, alternate world kind of thing but the, the United States has uh, built borders around its land mass and now it like it's uh, show you something here so it's basically like disappeared from uh, from the rest of North America so we're kind of in a different it's like kind of real world but it's not so in the back of the book, you get some nice uh, additional stuff, uh, like origins, timeline of the ceiling of the United States. So that's cool. And yeah, we have an all-star team. We have uh, Scott Snyder, Charles Soule, art by Giuseppe Camancoli, and Danielle Orlandi, covering by Matt's, Matt Wilson. Muttering by Crank. I don't know what that means. but So yeah, this come out... Um, December 2019 so basically the story is um, a group of people right here are flying to the United States of America on this like really cool double double like double uh, propeller helicopter like that's kind of what you're gonna get in the series you're gonna get like uniques very very unique this is a very unique series and I really like it actually uh, we're going to get number three and four if I can find them pretty soon. Because I, I like this a lot. So the group of them are on uh, the helicopter and then they get hit by a missile. Um, and then they tell a story about the sky virus. So it's like this virus from the sky, obviously, that uh, makes people go sick. You know, this, this boy died of it. Um, this character's called uh, Colonel Pavel Bukowski. It's a special unit of the Alliance Combined Air Operations Center. So there's like two different factions. And we'll get into that in a sec. Um, now, 290 miles east of the Pacific Barrier. So they've landed in America, but, um, you know, this guy got something stuck on his leg... There's like brother, sister, these two are kind of together. She's got some like special drones. Her name's Valentina. She has like special drones. These are the grave, Graves, brother and sister. He's a military guy. And then the pilot was the guy previously, um, Pavel Bukowski. He was the pilot. So he's really bad shape. And he actually gets something interesting happen to him. <laughs> And then this is, uh, so I'll, I'll read this. So <clears throat> I like the art. Art is really good for image. I mean, I'm not usually impressed by image, but I really like this series. Um, Your boat's already rocking. In fact, I say it's starting to sink. Just because, just because America's closed its doors doesn't mean we stop watching all of you. The wars, your two new empires, Alliance, Euro, Afrique, and the Pan- Asiatic Prosperity Zone, Alliance and Zoners, Freaks and Pappies. We see it all. Even that little plague you've been dealing with. So there's a good exposition. This guy is telling what's going on. Great. It's, you know, this is the first edition this is the first issue, so we need to know what the hell is going on. <laughs> um we know about the sky virus and the sky's falling, my friends, based on our projections. We've got about six months before a total societal collapse. So, they they hear this, and uh, they're talking about it. And they say that they're going to go on a team uh, to the United States. 
So this was kind of a flashback. So this is that like present and then flashback actually a couple times in this book. So you have to, this is a long read. It took me like half an hour to read this comic because there's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of jumping like timelines and stuff. Um, but then here, here we are at the present where they had crashed and the, uh, the military guy, uh, Mr. Graves, Daniel Graves is his name. Keep moving. We're almost at the light colonel. Everything's okay. So the colonel is still at the ship and they see this weird TV. Like this is a very unique series. Look at this big two page spread there of, uh, uh, these like genetically mutated animals and, um, the locals here on, uh, so like the down helicopter and then the Colonel is here. Bukowski, something <laughs> disgusting happens to him, but just look at that. That's great. Bukowski says, Oh, hello. My name is Colonel Pavel Bukowski. I'm a member of a diplomatic mission that seems to have gotten a little off track. And this guy on the horse says, have you invaded the United States of America? My God, what is this ace? You're, oh, and then they cut to the, so they're in the hills. And then uh, the guy says, I didn't evade. I was invited. This is, this is all just no foreign boots. Wait, stop, stop. And then the bison eats his, his ankle and his leg. So no foreign boots shall ever set foot on American soil. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. And they're in these like protective like wraps like a mummy. This is freaking so weird. This series is so freaking weird. I this is a this is a must buy. I I think you should buy this. Number one and number two. I'm gonna show you number two pretty quick. This is must buy. From Image, must, this is must buy. They don't have too many books, I would say, or must buy. This is must buy. We're all going to die. A, a giant on a man-eating cow is going to, shut up, don't make a sound. Just be ready to move very quickly. So he's the soldier. He, he's like, you know, he's like kind of a G.I. Joe kind of like guy. And we see that um, in a little bit. I think it's in this issue where it's kind of like, kind of like a backstory. Maybe it's in the next one. I think it's in the next one, actually, but. Anyway, we get these cool beasts and they're riding it like a Mad Max kind of thing. I'm going to skip. Well, I'm going to show this because this is really cool. So the city is like, this is a yacht. And then this is like, I don't know what this is. It's like a yacht stuck inside something else. That's their city, their mobile city. I'm like, this is awesome. And they meet this guy. So they're on the run. Then they meet this guy. Shows himself to be a patriot. And I'm going to skip a few pages. And then we're here. Who, who are these people? I call us the silent minority. Silent because we can't make much noise or the destiny man will find us. Minority because there aren't many of us left. And then they show this map. So this is what America is. So it's... They start... Like, they start here on, like, the destiny, and then they have to go through a spiral to get to the main place. So uh, this is going to... I think this is going to be a long series. <laughs> and there's just some jokes, like, this is the Oval Office, and it's like... There's, some, there's a lot of American stuff, and this guy reveals himself to be the, the one that sent out that distress earlier. My name is Sam, Sam Elgin, and I want you to save America. Uncle Sam, do you get it? <laughs> yeah, and then there's like there's some this is a this is awesome. For 3.99, it's a little you know, it's a little extra. You get a little extra. Alfie, I'm doing a review. Shut up. You get a little extra. You get a lot of backstory, you know how they made the logo. That's awesome. Why did I not buy this earlier? <laughs> Because this has been out for a few months. Um, number two. When did... I think number two... Number two came out in December as well. So, same team. So, 
Scott Snyder, Charles Soule. <coughs> so we get some backstory on the, that brother and sister, Daniel and Lottie, I think her name. No, Daniel and Elena. Daniel and Elena. So Lottie is another character. I am kind of mixed up. So they're in America, the West. And then uh, Daniel Graves is figuring out what the hell is going on. Um, this woman here with the tattoos, she, is, she can like recording. She can do recordings. She has like drones and stuff. And she can make holograms, which we'll see in a sec. So there's a lot of talking. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of exposition. There's a lot of reading to do. It takes a while to actually read these books, but it's but it's not like all talking. Like there's there's action. There's cool stuff, cool shit. Like I'm about to show you. Um, Lottie says, "No, we're here for the cure for Sky. You have to understand. Billions of people could die. You need to walk, spiral, and save America. That's that. Nothing is more important." Says uh, Sam, and then Daniel says, "This is bullshit. This man can't help us, Lottie." So who else can, so we can find someone else? We can't give up because it's getting complicated. The message was sent. It has to mean something. We have to try. So there was a message in the first issue about um, America has the, uh, the um, like the vaccine for the vi the, that virus that's killing people. So that's why they're there. And then we cut to, so this is the bad guy here. The... Um, What's his name? I forget his name. What's his name? I forget. <coughs> oh, Destiny Man. Destiny Man. So yeah, like they're in the yacht kind of ship container thing. The rolling city of the Destiny Man. Feel proud, Mr. Pavel. The mark of destiny is now manifest upon you. What the? Can you? The hell do you want from me? Only the truth, Mr. Pavel, the flying man. That's all the Destiny Man ever wants. Tell him where to find the door, and he'll spare you the collar. Collar, you assholes took my fucking foot. <laughs> so there's some swearing. This is a mature comic. Tell him to want. Tell him where to find the door. So the door. Um, so this guy has the key. This bad guy has the key, but he doesn't know where the door is, for the zone. But Uncle Sam over here, he knows where the door is, but he doesn't have the key. So you have two sides who need something. You can still work the wall. So here's the wall. It's, this is like the punishment, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that works. It says... <coughs> I'll read all the dialogues. You think I'm a fool? She let you in. Aurora. You will tell me what you know. Or or you will crawl the wall and then one day you will die. You and every foreign body you brought with you. This land is my land. I will not have it tainted. This is America. Uh, so... You could say this book has some political beliefs, you know, about borders and walls and America and the future and desolation and whatever. But, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad so far. So it says Alliance Euro Afrique in Kenya three weeks earlier. So this is what I was saying. It was kind of this is kind of they do this kind of time jumping a couple of times, but it's for like knowledge, you know. So here we are, um, Mr. Graves, Daniel Graves is in Kenya, and he's got this like little tent set up. That's friggin' cool. I like that. So that's why I, I think this, is, this guy's feel, this guy gives me the feels of like he's like a G.I. Joe character. Good morning, Major Graves, says this woman. <clears throat> I know no fun waking up to a gun in your face. Just wanted to make sure you wouldn't try for a daring escape. My name is Janet Worthington, Major Graves. I'm with the AEA. What is this? This is really how you live. Filthy tents in nowhere, backwaters, exiled, banned from every good place in both the zone and the alliance. 
hunted multiple hunt sorry need to focus hunted multiple bounties on your head all because you did something even the dumbest person on earth knows better to do you tried to break into the united states almost started world war five so we are in the future but i didn't make it i barely got even close Closer than anyone alive, you almost pulled off the impossible thing. For that reason, this desert rat existence of yours is over. We hold on now. You're about, you're about go on a, about to go on a mission. It's a joint thing, sponsored by both my noble empire and those asshole zoners. But I'd like to propose a side arrangement, something you'll do for us, and specifically not to do for the other side. Come through, and we'll give you citizenship in the AEA. Full rights and privileges, you no longer have to live like this. I tracked down your whiskey. Miter's 10-year bourbon from Kentucky, pre-sealing. Only bottle left outside the U.S., apparently. Does it buy me a chance to make a deal? Open it, let's find out. So she is offering. So Janet Worthington is offering him, like residency in the AEA so he doesn't have to live like in a tent or whatever on uh so she wants like a side deal which we'll see later come to play later and we have another kind of flashback thing this is they got a lot of like cool machinery and stuff in this series they've spent years I think Snyder and Soul in particular, they spent years trying to like forge the story, so I'm really excited about the next issues. <clears throat> and then they're talking to Graves about um, so I think he's like he's playing both sides. I think that's what they're trying to show there. I can't show every panel, but <laughs> they get they get Sam to uh, go out in his uh, Uncle Sam costume. I want you. I want you to believe in America again, not the destiny, not what the destiny man gives you. This, not this anarchy, not this anarchy. He presents himself to the uh, the bad guys. The American dream will never... Then he gets shot. Sorry, I can't show every page. So it looks like he's dead. The American dream will never die. He's got all these holes in him. But you will. And then it was shown to be uh, like a hologram. From the drone pro projection. This was really cool. This shows off his... Uh, Daniel Graves... Um, Physical capabilities. Yes, Valentina we're, all, Valentina, we're all very impressed with your drones, but clothes is not in. Literally everything between us and the city will kill us, or vice versa. Be ready to move, Daniel Graves. And you see he has a knife, and he's running. He's going to slit that guy's throat, throws him off. Um, Lottie, his sister, uh, tackles that guy. And they got this, like, serpent thing they got to kill. This is just friggin' awesome. I love it. It's giving me some flashbacks to, like, G.I. Joe movie from the 80s where they fought, like, a Cobra version of, like, what was it? Like, an evil version of Cobra that was, like, mutated animals or something. This is what it reminds me of. So there's Daniel. He's got his... He stole a jacket, and he sees something. He's talking to someone. The way has been cleared. Are you prepared to, prepared to fulfill your destiny? I was wondering if I'd see you again. Yeah, but I'm ready to do what he wants, what was agreed. And then it's Daniel. A deal is a deal. I'm destiny, man. I'm destiny's man. So he's got the mark of destiny on him like the bad guy does. So this is the guy that got the bison to bite off that guy's leg in their previous issue. <laughs> so is Daniel working with this guy? Because remember, there was some side deals. Uh, so 
and yeah, they they update the timeline. I guess each book they'll give you updates on what's going on. And then there's some more writing about uh, Snyder and Soul and how they how they did this and uh, like uh, artwork designs. That's so cool. Line number three. Apparently it's out January 2020. I couldn't find it at my local shop. Maybe it's sold out. I need to check a different store maybe. That's just awesome. You should pick up these books. Either pick them up individually or get the trade paperback when they comes out. This is a really, really good team. Scott Snyder, he's he's big thinker. He has a lot of prophecy stuff, like good, like big thinker. Charles Soule is always a classic writer. He's good at everything he writes. I love the art. I mean, you get really interesting stuff, like like how unique the villain looks. People crawling up the walls, like there's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of things going on, but I don't know. That makes you. It takes longer to read, which. Is, not a bad thing. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this series, Undiscovered Country, by Snyder, Soul, and Team from I Image Comics. It's really, really good. I think you should check it out. And you should also check out my other videos on the YouTube channel. And check out my website, www.the-mule.net. T H E hyphen M U L E dot net. That is my website. It's updated with comic book content, movie content, sports, and much more. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.